Who's ready for the most nervous episode in scoreboard history? It's me. I'm not. I lied to you guys. I'm sorry. Hey. Oh, that's that's Esper. Oh, all right. You done? Okay. I had to postpone this recording by like two minutes because she decided she needs to eat right now and she only will eat off of my desk right in front of me. Cat stuff, right? So, of course, as soon as I start talking, that's that's enough of her. She doesn't she doesn't want any any of me anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. My words are a little jumbly today. Um, so yeah, we have. Let's take a look at the team. We got a uh, Fletchender. It's gonna do it. And we also have Wishbone the Noctowl. Uh, the nickname comes from. I was looking at its little horn things, and it just thought like it kind of looks like a turkey wishbone, right? A, a little bit. Uh, with Hurricane, Hyper Voice, Roost, and Defog. I was originally just gonna go full offensive with this. Uh, give it a Salt Vest with like uh, Moon Blast and Heat Wave. But I decided I really needed a fog user uh, if I want Tranquilo to be decent. So, yeah. Um, and actually, you know what? On that, let's take off the fog from Tranquilo. Let's go with. I kind of want to go with like Will Wisp. Right? That would be pretty decent burning things. But. Um, oh gosh, is that a bad idea? That might be a bad idea. That might be silly now that I'm saying it out loud. Yeah, let's keep let's keep the fog. It, it's free points. Um, but yeah, so we have Wishbone. Uh, but, uh, let's let's just start the game. All right, we are facing Team Caterpie Discord member Today Don't uh, today with his Seismitoad, uh, Excelgor, Whimsicott, Magmortar, Drudagon, Better Have Fire Punch, and a standard Rodom. You don't see too many standard Rodoms out there, so uh, I'm digging that. Usually it's Rodom Wash or Rodom Freeze. Rodom Heat. Um, yeah, you don't see very many standard Rodoms, probably because it's not very good. Um, kind of want to start with Tranquilo. You know what? We got to do it. We got to start with Tranquilo. Rodom start. That's horrible for us. Um, maybe? Yeah, let's try switching. It's probably going to Will Wisp, I'm assuming, but I'm going to try switching into Scrafty here anyways um, to see if... No, just the Thunderbolt does a little under 40%. Um, knockoff would be fantastic here, but is that what I want to go for? I think it is. I don't want to set up because of the Whimsicott. Oh, and a one-shot taken off the Choice Scarf. Scrafty already getting those points. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the speed boost, so that's too bad, meaning uh, unless we go for Drain Punch, if we outspeed, uh, let's see, 215. The only thing we're guaranteed to outspeed is Judagon. And, oh my gosh, I forgot how, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I didn't realize that thing's max speed is 427. That's crazy. Um, all right, well, you're obviously dead. Thank you for the, thank you for the attempt anyways, Green Shell. Uh, Water Shuriken is not great for us, but you know what? I bet your defense isn't very high. His partner is the defensive one. Um, so let's go for Tranquilo. Let's see how much... Oh, this is going to be really bad if if it lives. Water Shuriken's going <gasps> to... What? What? Was Water Shuriken a higher priority move? Hold the telephone here for a second. I am confused. I don't... I guess Water Shuriken is a... Is a priority move. I had no idea. I, I'd never really used Greninja, so yeah, that was news to me. Um, HP Ice because I predicted that Seismic Toad switch there, and I didn't want to be dealing with that. I am locked into it now with Choice Scarf, which is not fantastic for me. Uh, so I don't really know what the good option here would be. Ooh, like I could see. Okay, let's take a look at how defensive this thing is. Uh, I mean, it's not. Actually, do we have the exact same defensive stats as our Metacham? Wow. Okay. Uh, so let's go into Booling then, who should hopefully be able to take some hits pretty well. Toxic, that's too bad. He is, uh, obviously not an offensive Seismitoad like I am. But, oh, you know what? We can't be burnt now, so... I guess I gotta try to see the, the positive in this somewhere. Our return does 47%, meaning we need one... Oh! Well, that is a twist I wasn't expecting. Okay, so that returned at 
So this is just within the realms of... I, I think we're just outside of min-max, unfortunately. I don't think we can get the knockout now. Unfortunately... Uh, that's too bad. Still asleep. We don't. But... We live one more. Now, is he going to wake up and rest again? That's the... Oh, no, he's still asleep. Sides and Toad is gone, thankfully. Um, thank goodness. But we also lost a All right, let's take a look at our speed. We're 293. Out speed, out speed. So we don't outspeed speed two. We do outspeed speed the other two. But I don't think we can kill either of these two. So let's go with Squat. Drudagon is out next. That is okay. Uh, we got Ice Punch for that. Hopefully. Now, does it have Fire Punch? Ah, oh, no! Outrage! Oh, crap! You know what, Tranquilo? You got this. Uh, Tranquilo just locked into Outrage. Acrobatics. We'll take the rough skin damage because we're able to get the... Wait a minute, what? No rough skin? Oh, must be Sheer Force. Okay. That makes sense. Now, Excelgore with his goddamn Water Shurikens. Yeah, I can't believe that's a priority move. I that's that makes me sad. Um, but I think we go for Sludge Wave. <gasps> oh! <gasps> I get the Giga Drain. <laughs> I don't know anything about this god. Damn speedy ass snail! Oh, and I missed the hurricane, of course. Oh no, I thought I thought so confidently he'd go into, um, I thought he'd go into uh, Whimsicott. I really did. Does Hyper Voice go around substitute? It does. All right. Let's see how much we can do with that. Ah, I love it. All right, Hyper Voice going around substitute. We're going to knock this thing out. And we're a bulky, bulky boy. I almost went with the Salt Vest. I wish I did. Uh, Wishbone is going to be getting some knockouts here. Magmortar is our last big problem. Can we hit the Hurricane? No! What? It's... Why? Why did I just go for Hyper Voice? Ugh. All right, Tranquilo, I know you, you can never outspeed the Water Shuriken, unfortunately, but, um, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to go for Tailwind. Might as well get a point, right? Yeah, get the point. So, there we go. Uh, all right, thank you very much to Daydome. I fucking hate Water Shuriken. Apparently that happens. Um, let's try game two. All right, we're facing a uh, Team Caterpie Discord member, Frozen Mag, Frozen Mag Mortar. Uh, we faced him a few episodes ago. Remember, if you want to be part of what's potentially the last episode of Season 4 of the next episode, make sure to join our Discord server, link down below. I post when I'm recording, usually about uh, 12, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., somewhere in there. Uh, the next time we're recording is probably this upcoming Monday, just so you guys know if you want to play. Um, all right. Uh, is this not? No, this isn't the same team, and this is an absolutely horrible Tranquilo team. This is really bad for Tranquilo. Maybe except for the Pangoro and the Sceptile, but we'll have to we'll have to whittle them down at that point. Um, I'm actually gonna start with Squat. Could have started with Scrafty there, but I was uh, fearing the Thunder Wave, and I'd more want Squat to get paralyzed than I would. Uh, Scrafty, just because Stra Scrafty tries to be our, uh, speed sweeper there. Wow! Critical hit squat, taking it out in one hit. That is badass. Um, okay, this is looking pretty decent so far. I think we have a okay matchup. Um, Golbat, this is what I was, uh, glad we're seeing this next, is probably the worst Pokemon for me. Uh, we have a lot of counters to Sceptile. We have... Actually, we don't have anything super effective for Samurai. Oh. Huh. Toxic is okay. Psycho, another crit! Alright, well, Squat's, Squat's not getting eliminated today. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, man. Uh, good job, Squat, on uh, doing the extra leg work. Which is weird, because both of the moves we did are punching moves. And you don't squat with your arms. Uh, maybe he does, but, you know, he doesn't... It was, it was like, he doesn't have the big arms. You know, maybe he psycho cuts with his thigh. You know, he just 
you know, cutting cutting bitches down with the kneecaps. Cutting them at the kneecap? I don't know. Um, people were talking in the, the chat about my luck today, like I didn't just get a fucking double hurricane miss. Thanks, guys. Uh, I guess we'll just drain punch and hope that eventually... <laughs> Another crit! <laughs> All the attacks in this game are fucking critical hits. This is insane. Um, bullet punch, I don't believe we'll get the knockout here. Just because it's resisted, unfortunately. Um, but we outspeed this thing, so... That's okay. I'm trying to plan the rest of this out, because uh, how much how much are we taking from Toxic? So next turn, we're only taking 25 next turn. So there's actually a decent chance we... Mm, no, okay. Del Fox kills us. Sceptile kills us. Just don't send in Pangoro. For the love of gosh, Magmortar. For the love of Arceus, don't send in your Pangoro against a fighting type. Please. Please don't. Okay, Sceptile on a... Balloon? What? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta ask you about this. A balloon? <laughs> what the f What? No, why did you go for Train Punch? All right, well, we finally died, <laughs> so thank goodness. Um, I guess it's gotta be Tranquilo, right? What can Adele Fox do to us? Hopefully Acrobatics is a two hit. That would be great news. Uh, it has Unburden Acrobatics, it, so... Okay, so if the balloon gets pop, it's... Does Unburden activate if you pop the balloon? <gasps> That's a kill. That's a kill. Come on, Tranquilo, you got this! Do it for the Hall of Fame, my amigo! Ah! Muy bien, amigo. Estás un pajaro grande. Just don't die. That would also be great. And the one hit on Pegoro! Tranquilo! Es fantástico! Yeah! Great job! GG, everybody. Uh, I am not- I am not typing. All right, let's move on to game number numero tres, amigos. Hola, amigos. Bienvenido a partido tres. Uh, hoy, Flygon Arminio uh, estas uh, nuestro... Uh, I can't remember enemy, unfortunately. Gosh, gosh darn it. Flygon, you guys might know her if you come to my Twitch streams, uh, is our final opponent for Tranquilos destiny as we got a okay now we know we can one shot pangoro so that's great news let's just go for it let's go with that tranquilo lead delmise um i know a lot about you and your gosh darn anchor shots i haven't forgotten but acrobatics is super effective oh that's not good anchor shot <laughs> thankfully is resisted that is such a stupid move i hate that move but tranquilo uh i don't know point either i've been learning spanish um and unfortunately there's certain moves i don't quite know um, I'm gonna set up a Tailwind. Just get that bonus point. Yeah, because we are gonna absolutely die against that thing. Alright. How do we get a fuck up a cookie? Um... What do you think this thing has? Like, can I, can I set up some D-dances on it? Let's try. I think, uh... I, what, what could it have? Toxic? Earthquake? <gasps> what? What the hell was that damage? I mean, I know uh, Trap Pinch and Vibrava have a, one of the weirdest things in Pokemon, where it's one of the only Pokemon to evolve and actually lose stat points. Um, Trap Pinch has, I think, a ridiculously high attack stat. It's like maybe like an 80 attack stat or something like that. Um, oh, we just don't outspeed that thing. That's sad. But uh, Vibrava doesn't have the attack stat. It actually drops in attack stat, which is one of the only Pokemon in Pokemon history to do something like that. Um, so... Does this thing get grass moves? That's what I don't know. I don't know if it gets grass moves or not. I guess we'll find out. Um, I'm going to set up some flame charges, though. 
Okay, I uh, I don't know what it, I don't know. It's Life Orb with Draining Kiss. Flame Charge doesn't do that much, but that's we're not doing it for damage anyways. Our speed is only 231. Oh man, we are slow. <gasps> and it's a Calm Mind user. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Booing with the knockout with return, taking it out. All right, I, I feel a bit better about that. Um, Pangoro up next is not wonderful. But we'll see if Wishbone can... Oh! <laughs> Holy crap! That was insane! Um, alright, let's try to Drain Punch. Yeah, the switch into Delphox. Uh, still does 51% though, so that's pretty decent. And I don't really know what you have that would be super effective. I guess Shadow Ball? Maybe? Let's try Warts. Uh, Dazzling Gleam only does 28%. So what do we want to lock ourselves into? I guess Scald is the best move to lock ourselves into with our choice specs. Uh, oh wait, you get Energy Beam. Oh man, I was really thought you were going to pull out Energy Ball. That would have been bad. Um, wait, plus three priority Draining Kiss. Wait, what? what is this thing's ability? What does Triage do? Someone's saying that Comfy had plus three priority Draining Kiss. And, come on, get the burn. We got the burn, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Uh, Soon Bear is going to die at the hands of... Ooh, who do I want it to be? I guess it has to be Squat, right? Because Squat is the, the good follow-up. Squat is, I'm positive, the point leader for this episode. But Tranquilo, and I'm almost positive Green Shell are safe as well. Um, I don't know... I don't know who's getting eliminated. I think it's Wishbone who's getting eliminated. Uh, Mega Glalie is only NU. <laughs> wow, that shows how bad it is. But GG Flygon, uh, good job, everybody. Let's go see if we have a brand new Hall of Fame member. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have our fifth member of the Season 4 Hall of Fame for Showdown Scoreboard. Tranquilo the Fletchender has made it, and I am... So proud of this little bird. Fletchender is... I've always really liked the regional birds. Most of them. Like Pidgeotto for the longest time was one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, then Fletchender came along. Absolutely love Fletchender. Um, Corvusquire might be like my new second favorite Pokemon of all time. I absolutely love Corvusquire. But Fletchender, it's always the middle stages I really, really like. Um, they've, they've always appealed to me. And Fletchender making it here to the Hall of Fame is, is just very cool considering um, his huge Stone Edge weakness. It's actually kind of impressive. But Fletchender has made it into the Hall of Fame, which leaves just one spot left. And we just happen to have a Pokemon entering its 10th episode next episode green shell the scrafty can he do it i guess we'll find out because there's going to be one new pokemon join the team and that pokemon is going to be meloetta oh that's all right you know what let's pull up the smogon i gotta find out what the heck that thing is right now meloetta just seeing any kind of mythical immediately makes me think oh god that's an uber i don't think celebi or drachi i don't think any of them are ubers so let's see meloetta is are you borderline so we're gonna be playing you you ah 